welcome to Would I Lie to You, the show with naked truths and well-dressed lies. On David Mitchell's team tonight, a TV presenter whose nickname at school was Little Winkle. <laughs> so was mine, but for very different reasons. <laughs> it's Claudia Winkleman. <laughs> and arguably the funniest man in Wales. Well, I would argue it's Rob Gilbert. <laughs> And on Lee Mack's team tonight, she's an actress best known for appearing in EastEnders and Doctor Who. Bizarre humanoids acting like no Earthling ever would. EastEnders is regularly watched by over 10 million viewers. <laughs> Tracy Ann Overman. <laughs> and he's the star of Made in Chelsea and heir to the McVitie's Biscuit Fortune. Yes, blonde hair and ginger nuts. It's Jamie Lang. <laughs> So we begin with round one, Home Truths, where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. Now, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before. They've no idea what they'll be faced with. And it's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction. And we're starting tonight with Claudia. OK, good. Uh, when I meet someone for the very first time, I automatically make a mental note of what animal I think they are. Once it's in, I never forget it. Please, team. Do I raise my... I don't raise my hand, do, do I? Need to go to the, <laughs> no, do you need to go to the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, just to be clear, you may be dressed like a seven-year-old, but you don't have to behave like that. Claudia, so we met for the first time. Yes. What animal did you choose me ferret. to be? A ferret. A ferret? Yeah. What a ferret? Well, small, friendly, good pet. Not in a weird way. Uh, <laughs> immediately, ferret. Yeah. And will you always you. see him as a ferret now? Is that's that how it. We, that's Finished. it. Finished. I mean, you might have another name. Well done. But in my <laughs> mind, <laughs> ferret. Can, ferret. You, can you do all of us with that system? <laughs> of course. Beaver. Which one? You. Me. You're a beaver. Am I a beaver? You're a cat. I love to no, be a cat. No, you're a cat. Oh, I'm so you're glad. You're a cat. Sorry, whoa, 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 beaver. Yes. Why beaver? It's just automatic. I mean, I've I got... can see that. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. <laughs> Beavers have got big teeth and they're like, they're a bit okay. smelly looking. And your point is, no, you're a total, total beaver. Common <laughs> cuckoo, this one. What? A common cuckoo. <laughs> Why a cuckoo? Normally I don't think about it. Common cuckoo, owl, puppy. End of. <laughs> You can't just say puppy, that would be a breed. I'm, all right, if I'm pushed, red setter. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, I think I'm the only one who isn't happy. I'm, I'm a lovely. Owl. Whoa, whoa, uh, I'm not too happy with the beaver. <laughs> I'm pleased with owl, yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I would love yeah. owl. I would yeah. have loved owl. Yeah, but you're, you're nowhere close yeah. to an owl. Yeah, but... <laughs> so, Claudia. I'll say Claudia, I mean meerkat. <laughs> You have to have a bit of me a cat about you, haven't okay. you? OK. Yeah. I, if I was going to do it to myself, camel. <laughs> camel? Why camel? I'm pure camel. I'm 100% camel. <laughs> Maybe 3% mouse. 3% mouse, 97% camel? There that you was go. a hell of a mum and dad relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't like to be the mouse in that relationship, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do it, though? What's the, does it help you remember the person's name or something? I've just done it forever. I think we might have started when we were young and we had a teacher who was a little bit human but mainly cow. <laughs> well, she's certainly given an encyclopedic she response. She has done very well. In fact, I would say it's instant with you. you I can tell it's instant. Done. It's gutter, isn't it? Name anybody. So, without pausing or hesitating, <laughs> tell us all again what we are. OK. Oh. Easy. Cat, beaver, ferret, common cuckoo, owl, baby red setter. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you thinking, Lee? Uh, so do, we, do you think it's true? true. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's true. Genuinely, I think it's not true, but, but there's one bit in it that makes it feel true. The word Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying it's true? It's true. OK, Claudia, truth or lie? It is a lie. <laughs> Yes, it's a lie. Claudia doesn't think of an animal every time she meets someone. Jamie, you're next. Oh. I once set a sauna on fire. What? <laughs> How? I was in Brazil. Of course. And I was in the sauna and I decided to pour vodka 
Oh, my God. ..on the rocks of the sauna. Because <laughs> you thought on that's what rocks. vodka on the rocks was? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I tell you, how it started was my friend told me... I was in, I was in Cornwall, of all places, and my friend can, said... Can I jump in here and yeah. say, did your parents know you were drinking? <laughs> I, was, I wasn't a minor. I was, I was <laughs> 18 and a half. Isn't 18 and a half 18 once you get to be an adult? Well, no. <laughs> That's so true. Who <laughs> says 18 and a half? <laughs> You're in Cornwall. I was in Cornwall and my friend said to me, if you go and lie in the bath and pour vodka in it, like a shot of vodka... In the bath? In the bath, it gets you drunk. I didn't Whoa. go and do it, but then... What? A I, shot I was of told vodka in a bath? <laughs> because of the fumes, it gets you drunk. So I was in Brazil travelling and my friend had a sauna in their apartment, so I was left alone. Oh. And so I, I've heard board... about these Brazilian <laughs> slums. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're left alone in this I flat. Was, I was left with alone. a bottle of vodka, and you thought if only there was some way I could use this bottle of vodka <laughs> to make me become drunk. <laughs> yeah. well, that... <laughs> Where were you in Brazil? I was in Rio. Ah, that is well, in uh, Brazil. Uh, yep. Yeah. Tick. Yeah. <laughs> Solid answer. Yeah. Solid Continue. In Rio. I was in a foreign country, I was young, I was experimenting, so I thought one experiment with... Why did you look at me when you said you were experimenting? <laughs> <laughs> I decided to take the bottle of vodka into my sauna and pour it onto the rocks. As I poured it onto the rocks, it went into flames and it burnt the sauna. So you, you poured it onto the rocks and, and immediately what happened? So I poured it onto the rocks and started to flame. So Just I... one shot of it or the whole bottle? The half a bottle. So I, half I, a you bottle walk... of vodka? Wow. Yeah, no, it's... At 18 and a half, you change the rules. <laughs> 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 Um, and so the fire engines turned up and we... we no, no, hang on, we've, we've missed a beat here. You're in the sauna, yeah. you've poured half a bottle of vodka onto the, the rock <laughs> things, flames are appearing. Yes. You're sitting there, what are you wearing? Mm. Uh, well, I, I was going to go... They've I was... told me to make the show sexier. <laughs> I was going to... <laughs> so I was going to go in naked because I thought that's what you do, but I actually put on my swimming trunks. So I wore swimming trunks in there. But how, the one how low I... down your leg did they go? Mine are so mine are slight. They're Give not too long. Above the knee. <laughs> I would say about seven inches. Above the knee. Above the knee. If you go seven inches above my knee, you get to my waist. <laughs> <laughs> So you're sitting in there, yeah. in your trunks, on the slats, mm -hmm. and the, the <laughs> flames have started. What are you no, doing? No, I, I thought the best option was to pick them up and throw them... The rocks? Yeah, because I what? thought that, yeah... They must be boiling oh up. Well, that's what I found out, obviously. You found <laughs> out? <laughs> you yeah, must yeah. have suspected they were hot, because you knew they were producing <laughs> the heat, surely. <laughs> but you were in that panic. No, no, even in the panic, do I know bear in mind, the Bear in mind, he was 18 and a half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I try and pick up the rocks to throw them out the door and realise they out were... Out of the door? Yeah, well, cos there's a... <laughs> what else is there? Because you really the wanted, at this sauna. point, to no, spread the, the door, fire through the rest of the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's, no, what's no, on the other no, side of the door? Yeah. The, the hall? The no, living room? room. What? A lovely balcony. I know you can... Uh, <laughs> so you want to throw on the passers-by yeah. yeah. outside? <laughs> We get... Nothing says Rio like a falling, <laughs> flaming vodka rock. <laughs> My thought process was to pick up the rocks throw them out the door and it would have been fine. However, they picked up the rocks, they were too hot, so they fell on the ground <laughs> and the fire went. And I How thought... can you not know that the rocks are... Are you so posh? Lee, I told you Are you that... so posh you don't understand the concept of coal? Have you, have you ever gone to... <laughs> have you ever gone to... Have you ever cooked something and you've gone, oh, this one, it opened up the oven and gone to take it out of your hands? No. 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 OK. <laughs> so, David, what is your team thinking about this? Claudia? I think it's true. Apartment. Balcony, he's waiting for everyone to go, trunks on, vodka there. Mm -hmm. Finally, he's everything comes everyone into to place. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, a chance to put my trunks on. Everyone's <laughs> out. <laughs> what do you think? I'm on your side. Oh, it's it's right. Right. <laughs> interesting to know. So, what are you going to say then? I think we'll say true. true. Okay. Jamie, were you telling the truth or was it a lie? It was true. <laughs> oh. Yes, it's true. Jamie did set a sauna on fire. Right, Rod, you're next. OK. A mistake I made in France meant someone in England got hospitalised. <laughs> Please, team. Have you just learned to read? <laughs> <laughs> Was the mistake you made in the French language? 
Yeah. It's a simple question, Rob. Yeah. Was it in the French? Was it in the language of Brit? Right. It's a simple the... question with a simple answer. Right. Yes, it Can was. Can you tell Me. us the mistake yes. you made, please? <laughs> the mistake I made got somebody hospitalised. That's the. That was the. <laughs> I didn't say. Big. I didn't say. No, no, no. That, that's not worthy of a fact. What was the mistake? What was the mistake? Could say. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, I'll, I'll take it from you. <laughs> what was the nature of this mistake? It was a language thing. It was a French-English mix-up. It was a mix-up, a terrible mix-up, a terrible mix-up. What language were you mix -up, doing terrible. in France? I was, uh, I was on the phone. <laughs> I was, I was in France. I was working in France, and I was on working the phone. Working in France. I was on the phone to England, and I made a mistake with my French-English translation. Who, who received the mistake? Uh, a girl. A, a girl. What was her name? Anne. What colour hair does she have? I don't know. She was on the phone. <laughs> So can you talk us through the incident? I was asked by someone in France, they said, can you talk to somebody in England? Why did they ask you to do that? Because <laughs> they didn't speak English. Right. What was the relationship between Anne and the person that had asked you to talk? Oh, that was Anne's father said, can you speak to Anne? She's in England and we're Wait. in France. And ask her what's wrong with her. Well, how did you know him? What how was the relationship? How did you know him? There's a new angle. Oh, I knew him. Oh, well, you should have asked. I knew him because... Uh... <laughs> I worked in a, in France. I was in a school. I worked in a school. He was the caretaker. What were you doing in, in school? I was uh, teaching English. Now, his daughter, she's French. Yes. She's living in England. Yeah. Now. No, no, she wasn't living. She was on a, a very short exchange. Thing. Right. Now, in the words of Question of Sport, what happened next? <laughs> he came to me and said, can you talk to my daughter, Anne? She's ill, she's in England. She, she, she couldn't speak to the family she was with. That's the problem. That's so, the problem. So she didn't know how to speak to the family? She couldn't speak to the family because the family was English. How are you speaking to her going to help that? Well, right, here's the situation. <laughs> Anne could talk to her dad and tell her what was wrong with her in French, but he couldn't say that to the family because they didn't speak French and he didn't speak English. So right. he came to me, who spoke both languages. I went to her, I spoke to her in French, <laughs> then I passed it on to the family in English. What's wrong with them? I passed that on to him in English, then I passed it back to him in French. Everyone's happy. Now, let me have... she got... <laughs> You said that you made a mistake that caused this person to be hospitalised. That's right, I did, yeah. What did you do wrong? What did what you did say you wrong? Yeah. I said, kiss, kiss, burst, kiss, kiss, burst, kiss, kiss, burst, all that, you know. As yeah. you do. <laughs> and she said... Shane Oshin! Shane Oshin! Was she stuck in the bell tower? <laughs> 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 I know what's wrong with her. Is this someone to do with her back? <laughs> And what is that? What does that mean? Well, I said, I got the, the English family on the phone and I said, hey, she's got an angina. She's got angina. <laughs> and, and that's angina. a mistake, right? Well, angina, I found out later, is a serious heart condition, so right. she was hospitalised. But what, what was wrong angina with Angina is a sore throat. I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And what happened? Did they then rush her to this they, hospital? They called 999 and, and got her into hospital, yeah. Nuff, nuff, nuff. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, Lee, what are you thinking? Could well, it be true? That I don't think Anne is a French name. That's the one bit in it that I don't believe. Anne-Marie? Who's she? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what an absolutely amazing answer! <laughs> That's one of the funniest things anybody's ever said. <laughs> I believe it to be true. You believe it to be true? Mm -hmm. Okay. It was so torturous getting that story out that it has to be the truth. Yeah. Lee, I, you think so too? It could not be any truer. <laughs> Rod, truth or lie? Of course, it is <laughs> true. <laughs> our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Tony. <laughs> Let's start with you, Claudia. What is Tony to you? This is Tony. He's my builder. He drove for over an hour to come to my house to fix my TV, and it turned out all I needed to do was change the batteries in the remote control. Rod, how do you know Tony? Uh, this is Tony, and we played in a band together. Uh, where we both played guitar, except only his was plugged in, because I can't play a note. <laughs> 
David, what is your relationship with Tony? This is Tony, and I regularly go round to his house to play with his Lego. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we have it. Claudia's helpful handyman, Rod's musical mate, or David's play pal. Uh, Lee's team, where would you like to begin? OK, let's start with uh, Claudia. Yes. How do what, you what? know him? He built my house. <gasps> Out he... of Lego? Is it a combined story? <laughs> <laughs> what happened is my telly didn't work, and so I thought... Oh, I got it, I got it. Did he put the television in the house? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So he built this from scratch, as in it was foundations up? Well, no, but he did the other stuff. What other stuff? You know... <laughs> 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 no, the painting. Tell me. I think... <laughs> you know, the other stuff. The painting. painting. The television wasn't working. You Correct. thought, I'll call my builder. That's what happened. <laughs> Why did you think the builder is responsible for the television? I thought he would know about things falling off. I've got an unstable roof. You've got an unstable mind. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you clapping? <laughs> the telly didn't work. The little puffin baby, what's his... Yeah, what, he wants what, to watch what the What do you mean, little puffin baby? What is a puffin? Oh, yeah. Stop talking to me. <laughs> I, don't, whoa, 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 whoa. Said, I thought you said that you wanted to watch the telly. I did. But then what, the is, what is Puffin doing? I only want to watch what he wants Who to watch. Who in the <laughs> love of God is the Puffin? <laughs> yeah. 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 Whose mind is the worst? Claudia's or yours? She said, I wanted to help out the little Puffin. <laughs> and instead of going, what's the Puffin going to do with it? You went, well, hang on. Who wanted to watch the telly? You or the Puffin? <laughs> so that's the way I wants to watch the telly. What's the Puffin <laughs> doing there? It's the next yeah. question. Anyway, so... Tony went, no problem, because... Tell us what the puffin <laughs> is doing in the house and I'm not moving on! No, he, that's not his real name. He's called Arthur, but... Who's Arthur? Your child! Your son! Your son. <laughs> that's all I wanted! Did you go child. to the Rob Gilbert School of Explanation? <laughs> Let's move this on. OK, then he arrives and he gets to the house. Yeah. He comes in and what happens? And I say something must have fallen off the roof, Tony. Meaning the aerial or the dish. But didn't you see that little red light in the bottom right-hand corner that wasn't green? Interesting. <laughs> did he fix it straight away or did he not have the tools? Watch his face. <laughs> no. Did he have to nip to see his mate Kevin, who's got the right tools, who no. lives four days away? <laughs> he just got the remote. It was like magic. Okay. And he flicked this thing. <laughs> right, the on, the on this is the killer, the yeah. this is the the killer question that will decide yeah. whether she's telling the truth. Did he charge you? No. He's not a builder. <laughs> well, there we are. Now, who I would you like to question it. next? OK, so Rod. Sorry, remind us of your fact. I can't even remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Tony. Tony. I know what it is. I'm bluffing. It's a bluff. It's a bluff. I'm bluffing. Right, this is Tony. Uh, we played in a band together. Oh, we yes. both played guitar, but his only ears was plugged in because okay. I can't play so in what, You can't play. What was the band called? Uh, <laughs> It was a long time. Uh, muck spreader. <laughs> <laughs> muck spreader. And where did you get the name from? Two of the band were like farmers. It's rural West Wales. Why were you part of the band then? If you couldn't play um, and you weren't singing? Because Tony was the lead singer and guitarist. Yeah. And why why as you see him now, why that's were... the kind of charisma he brought to the stage. <laughs> why, were, why were you in the band? Why were you in the band? That, that's why I'm coming to you. That's you I'm were saying. there for charisma. No, Tony was. Th this is what he was like as a lead <laughs> front man. Surely he didn't put his arms behind his back when he was playing the guitar. <laughs> no, he had, a guitar <laughs> he had a guitar in front of him. <laughs> yeah. But in all other ways, that is exactly what Dressed he was like. Dressed in a suit. Right. And he's that not... dull and uncharismatic <laughs> at the right. front of him. <laughs> right. of that, that... So boring was he That is not... Un we're not doubting that. <laughs> what we're doubting is the fact that he thought you could help that situation. Right. <laughs> they saw me dancing kind of on the dance floor in a barn dance thing and they thought we need a front man because I was just so dull. <laughs> so you were like the Bez. The Bez. I was exactly yeah. like the Bez but with a guitar. And uh, what kind well, I was gonna say what kind of music did you play but you didn't. What kind of music didn't you play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well well the band was a sort of punky rocky sort can of you, can uh, you punky rocky is that how you introduced it? Johnny <laughs> Rotten. Can and now we're gonna do some <laughs> punky rocky music. <laughs> can you do a can I'm you... the spreaders. <laughs> can you do... <laughs> I am the Antichrist. <laughs> I'm not I'm a farmer <laughs> <laughs> the muck spreaders. <laughs> All our songs had the word muck in the title. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? Like, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, we're the muck spreaders. <laughs> muck do about nothing. Uh, oh, you did, oh, you did Shakespeare plays as well. <laughs> See now it's all making sense. <laughs> don't, don't and now, ladies and gentlemen, this punk rock 
band would now like to perform a piece from Shakespeare. <laughs> but he won't be speaking, he's not plugged in, he'll mind me. <laughs> Okay. So, what about David? Uh, okay, David, this is Tony, and you go around to his house to play Lego. Is that what you're saying? Wh play why why would you play Lego at Tony's house? But he's got a lot of Lego. No, no, Can no. I say at this, no, no, at no, this point, with is... all this mention of Lego, with yeah. us being the BBC, there are other children's building blocks yeah. available. They're not as good, but there are, <laughs> there are others. <laughs> Sorry, ca carry yes, on. absolutely. How often do you go around to his house and play with Lego? I, <laughs> I suppose it must be... Uh, what, once every two or three weeks. How long is a session? <laughs> oh, I can't, uh, two or three hours. And do you freeform or have you got a kit that you follow the instructions? We're building a castle. Are you? A model well, of a castle. So this yeah. castle, yeah. is it an exact replica of your house or is it... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 the, it's supposed to look like the Tower of London. So, so how big is it going to end up being? It's obviously big, isn't it? When it's finished, uh, I think it'll be, I, I would say, roughly the size of one of these circles here. Wow, and how what? long is that going to take? As big as that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be... It's big. Do you have different sections that you work on, or do you work on the same section at the same well, time? Well, we've, we've, what we've largely done is completed the, the, the white tower, and, what... and now we're trying to work out the, you know, the footprint, if you, know, if you see what I mean, of the curtain wall. I so quick hope question, quick question. True. Are you still married? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I am. How do you know him? I know him uh, because I made a documentary and I met him doing that. What was the documentary called? It was, the documentary was called The Pursuit of Youth. Uh, it was about people who were into, you know, childish, childish things as, as adults. And they got you to host that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you approached this sort of Lego body, how, did, did everyone believe you? So you told your wife, you said, I'm going to go and build... Lego at Tony's mm. house, and it was everything was fine, and that was all. She she seemed to believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Has Tony got a wife? I can answer that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> Tony does have a wife. What is the name of the person who started Lego? I don't know. Nor do I. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Lee's team, is Tony Claudia's helpful handyman, oh. Rod's musical mate, right. or David's play pal? Well, David's played this game long enough to know that if he was to put in the phrase, I was making a telly show, that would be a risk. Are you following his career? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here following David's oh, career? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like you. I saw the trailer for it. Don't say that even as a trailer. I feel like I saw the trailer. That was trailer. <laughs> this week on Pursuit of You. <laughs> How's your wife, Tony? <laughs> Join us next week on Pursuit of You. <laughs> now, what about Claudia? I think, I think you're, you're, you're wise, you're... You're clever. You would have thought this through, I feel. You, you would think have Claudia is wise and clever? Wise and clever, too. Have you ever seen her on the television? <laughs> or met her? No, but I think you have good initiative. <laughs> you have very good initiative. So who do you think it is, Jamie, if you don't think it's uh, Claudia? I mean, I do think it's Claudia, maybe. I, th I actually... I don't know. <laughs> because now it's just changed. You now think it's Claudia? I think it's Claudia. Is... I think it's Rod. Oh. You're wrong. Oh, well, in that case... No, 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 you could be right. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. No, no you change no, your mind. I'm, He's I'm, already I'm done this. Susceptible. I want it to be David. I, I want think it to it's be Claudia. David. I'm it going David. with Rod. No. <laughs> What's it going to be? We need you. She's in the documentary. David. David. You All right. Tony. Documentary. <laughs> Would you please reveal your true identity? Uh, my name is Tony, and I drove to Claudia's to take care of Yes, Tony is Claudia's helpful handyman. Thank you very much, Tony. Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies, and we start with... It's Rod. I can't wear normal gloves because I have an unusual hand. <laughs> hey. Which of the two hands is unusual? <laughs> that one. <laughs> would, you, would you hold up your unusual hand? I'll show you some of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That is quite unusual hand. Is it, is it all gloves or is it just certain gloves? <laughs> Do you well, mean those really odd gloves with the <laughs> thumb and the four fingers? No, because they're all mittens. Yes. And they're called mittens. Yeah, but that's still a glove. No, that's it's it. not. It is. A, a mitten's it. a glove. No, it's not. It is. Admit it, that mitten is not a glove. Can I just a... say, can I just say, you're both saying like two people who aren't quite sure of the real answer. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I'm you're doubting saying myself. You're conviction, but neither of you know the truth. Well, this might help you. I could wear mittens, but I can't wear gloves. Ah, uh, you've you got have... webbed hands. Have you got webbed hands? <laughs> Have you got webbed fingers? Yes, I've got webbed fingers. <laughs> Is Have this you? why you couldn't play the guitar in Muck Spreader? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can draw... Uh, well, I haven't got a pen and paper, so I can't. So there OK. Is it I have gloves? pen and paper. Pen oh, and you paper. would have pen and paper, wouldn't you? <laughs> Are you going to draw around your hand and yeah, not I'll... let us see? Draw around yeah, your hand, right. but don't... I'll, I'll come right. to you. It's all right. I've got to even it out. <laughs> <laughs> have a seat, sir. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank you, sir. Right, draw it. Go on. Yeah. Draw it. <laughs> draw it. <laughs> Do it. Draw it. Draw, draw around it, yeah? Draw around it. Rob, you're, you're to witness it, yeah? Well, I'm going to witness it. All right, OK. He's drawing round his fingers. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it. Thank you, Rod. That must have been very traumatic for you. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly was. This is what Rod claims is the outline of his hand. Oh, so only one web on one hand. I've oh, known you yeah. for 15 years. You didn't notice if I had a complete flipper. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you going to say, Lee? Is this the truth? What do we think? <laughs> what do you think? I, well, I, I'm in the worst position though because I've known him so long. I can't th think I would have known this. I weirdly think it's the truth. Why? Well, I feel like it was a very good drawing. You think that that? <laughs> 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 I like it. Do you not think? couldn't have improvised that. No, because if you... Uh, I, I was assuming it was going to be fake and they were all going to be webbed, but one being webbed is very... Maybe well. that's his attempt at five web problems and he's rubbish at drawing. <laughs> OK, what's it going to be, Lee? It's time to decide. No, I got it wrong on the trailer. Don't ask me anything. OK. <laughs> so you don't know? It's a lie. You think it's a it's lie? It's a lie. I, I got David wrong, so I think... We should ignore me. Just you, you do it. <laughs> ignore me. So your advice is, I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe a lie, and <laughs> ignore, ignore me. <laughs> I've, re I've really got the winning team this week, haven't I? <laughs> so what's it going to be? Let's go for lie. Lie? Lie. It's got to be a lie. Saying it's a lie. Is... Rod, was Five it the times. truth or was it a lie? <laughs> <laughs> Noise signals time is up. It's the end of the show. I can reveal that David's team have won by four points to one. <laughs> Thank you for watching tonight.